We're Paul and Shannon, and these are our dogs, Jackson and Doug. For the past year, we've been living nomadically, staying in Airbnbs while exploring our beautiful country. In this video, join us as we check out the amazing Dead Horse Point State Park and head out for a couple of other awesome hikes in Moab, Utah. Hope you enjoy. It's a beautiful Saturday in Moab, Utah, and today we're out in the Castle Valley area doing the Sylvester Trail. We were the only car, oh no, actually there was one other car in the parking lot. <laughs> but I think we practically have this entire place to ourselves, which is amazing. It's so beautiful here. The Castle Valley area is amazing. It's about 30 minutes from downtown Moab, so not too bad. This full trail I think is close to seven miles, which I don't think we'll be doing the full thing today, but just happy to be outside and enjoying these amazing views. So it's actually been maybe a week or two since the last video, and that's because my brother and his wonderful girlfriend visited us for a long weekend trip. We had so much fun. I didn't take any video, but I'll insert some photos. We went to Arches National Park, Canyonlands National Park, did Corona and Bowtie Arch in Moab. We had so much fun. They loved it. And yeah, so I haven't recorded for a while, so good to pick up the camera again and be out on another adventure. Currently about a mile in, this is a really, really beautiful trail so far. And like I said, we haven't seen anybody else. It's amazing. I don't know where everyone else is, but <laughs> it's great for us. You can see back behind us, Castleton Tower, kind of over there. You have a partial view of it. A lot of rock climbers actually climb that tower, which is pretty crazy. The light in your eyes comes over me just like sunrise. You said a scene turning my gray skies blue Just like you always do I don't want anyone else Cause I know there's not anyone else That makes me feel the way you do It's easy to prove I don't want anyone else but you We're a little over two miles in. This trail has been awesome. So glad we came to check it out. We're going to turn around here and then do a little bit more exploring in this area and see what we can find. Is made up, won't ever change. And no matter what, I feel the same. Hold up the world for you. So we just drove through the town of Castle Valley, which is a really neat place that we didn't really know existed. We're headed home now, and the plan for tomorrow is to head to Dead Horse State Park. So stay tuned and we'll see you then. Today we're out at Dead Horse State Park. We're starting our day at Dead Horse Point. You can see the Colorado River and it kind of looks like a horseshoe back down behind me. We're walking on the Rim Trail, which I guess is a loop trail, a five mile loop trail. I'm not gonna do the whole thing today, but there are some incredible views everywhere we've looked so far. So Dead Horse State Park is actually pretty much the neighbor, like <laughs> the little sibling to Canyonlands National Park. It's basically right next door. And we read that Dead Horse State Park State Park was established about five years before Canyonland State Park, which maybe explains why they aren't just one big national park and they're separated into two parks. But yeah, it's a great day. This is amazing. So that was the West Rim, and now we're headed to check out the East Rim. So the pools down there are evaporation pools so that a company can extract potassium chloride for fertilizer from the ground. They take a bunch of water from the Colorado River and pump it into the ground. It dissolves the potassium chloride and then they pump it back out into these giant pools, dye it bright blue 
so that it evaporates and then extract the potassium chloride for fertilizer. So sometimes we come to these beautiful places with the intention of doing some hiking, but we sit down and the sun is shining and we're just looking at the incredible landscape and it's pretty hard to get up. <laughs> so we sat in that spot for a good 45 minutes, just looking out at the amazing view and admiring it. Now we're just kind of meandering our way back to the car. It's another day in beautiful Moab and what do you know, I'm out exploring yet another trail in the area that we haven't gotten a chance to check out yet. This is called the Hidden Valley Trail. If you remember in our first Moab video, we did a trail called the Moab Rim Trail. This actually is the other side of that trail. It eventually connects over there. You can tell I'm out of breath. We have been climbing, climbing, climbing <laughs> since we started this trail, but we're doing this in place of a workout today. So, you know, we're gonna climb on. We have two happy doggies and an incredible landscape per usual. Yesterday evening, after we got home from Dead Horse State Park, it ended up snowing a lot. <laughs> Snowed for a good bit, but it's actually like all melted already somehow. The trail is dry. We only had one slippery spot so far. Is that the happiest boy I've ever seen? Is that the happiest doggy? Alrighty, come on, let's go. I was a little nervous to check and see how much more climbing we had left, but we're already at 534 feet of elevation gain and there's about 1100 total on this hike and we've only gone 0.7 miles so we've already knocked out about half of it in less than a mile this landscape is absolutely amazing i didn't really know what to expect but my goodness it is so beautiful and peaceful back here whoa i just turned around and i was going to say something <laughs> But I just saw the LaSalle Mountains back behind me. Oh my goodness, they look crazy back there. Wow. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I was gonna say, my phone is saying it's only 34 degrees right now. It is warm. I can't imagine doing this in the summer. If it feels this warm and it's only 34 right now, but <laughs> it's nice for now. We just made it to the end of the Hidden Valley Trail. It is incredible. We are three miles in, so we're turning around now, going all the way back. It's been another wonderful week exploring Moab, Utah. Moab is for sure one of our favorite places we've visited so far. There's so much to see, so much to do. I feel like we haven't even scratched the surface. This weekend, we're headed out to do some more exploring, so make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for joining us and watching our videos, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Say goodbye. Just like you always do, I don't want you.